The Psychic Twins are here. Did you guys see the Psychic Twins when they were here? They are back. Now, the last time they were on the Tyra Show, you guys were so impressed with all of their predictions that you guys actually crashed our Tyra Show website with all of your emails. The website was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, Linda and Terry Jameson, twins, come on out here. <laughs> today as living lie detectors. They're going to use their psychic powers that they say they've had since they were born, um, that they're going to use it on women who've emailed us about their relationship dramas, women that are worried about cheating and whether their guys are going to close the deal and actually marry them, and what it really means when your man is saying that he is too tired to have sex. Is it that he is having sex with somebody else? Okay, so... These twins have actually never met any of our guests today that they're going to be uh, meeting and helping out. And uh, we're about to start right now. But we're going to start, first I want to ask about the technique. You guys were on here last time talking about the, what is it called? The yes, automatic, automatic writing automatic technique? automatic or channeled writing, Tyra. And it looks like this. I'm not sure if you can see. Can That's see that how it comes clear? out. Wow. It's very pretty, very loopy, and we actually access information fields. This is how we get information about the future and even past lives. Did you know that you guys were going to cut your hair before you knew that you were going to cut your hair? Because last time their hair was long. <laughs> yeah, we knew it. You just said it's coming. It's we coming. like to switch it up. Okay. okay, you guys take your seats. I'm going over okay. here. Okay. We're going to start. Hello. Good. Okay, so Aquino wants to marry her boyfriend, David, but she's worried that he's lying to her and possibly even cheating on her. Okay, so tell me about this relationship with, with you and David. Well, you know, Tyra, me and David have been together for about almost two years now, and our relationship is like the Cascade Rocky Road Mountains. I mean, like, one what does that minute... Mean? It, it's like It's like, <laughs> he's here for, like, three months. We're perfect. And then he disappears for three weeks at a time. And it's like, I have to call his phone. He won't answer his phone, call his house. He's not answer his house. He's gone for three weeks Three at weeks, time? he won't call at all. I mean, I'm calling his friends. Where's David at? Oh, none of your business. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, this is really, really irking me. And the thing is, I don't know if he's cheating or not. I mean, he tells me I've been working to help support you guys. Um, I'm, you know, out with my friends at the bar and everything like that. I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay. But I hear Tara, you, you find your, you send your friends to go yeah, get him. Yeah. Tell me what you do with your friends to go get him. I mean, I mostly call his friends because he's one he's out hanging with. And they've gone to a point where they either don't answer my phone calls either now. Or they're sitting there telling me, oh, he's at work. You know, and sometimes I'll call his job, but his boss is like, they're lying, tell me that he's not there or something so like that. So the boss, that. you think, is kind of in on something as well? Probably. Okay, Might be. so I hear that you have some kind of proof that he is not so much the truth, most truthful yeah, person. Yeah, there was an incident a few months ago where I was in the hospital and I was really ill, and there was some money at the house, about $300, correct? And uh, it came up missing. I needed it to get some medication and some food for myself. And we had a roommate living with us, and I thought that she had took it, but she didn't. And I was asking for months on top of months, you know, did you take the money? Asking your man. Asking David, okay. yeah. And he said no. He said no, I wasn't taking it. And then come to find out about a few weeks ago, he finally made it to me that he took the money and was like, I'm sorry. That he just was took it. the money? He said he took the money and apologized, and that was it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And it was your money for medicine? It was our money for medication. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then tell me about the text messages, the suspicious text messages. Um, well... Technology's a bitch, isn't it? <laughs> God. I mean, it just used to be like lipstick on a collar, and now it is like techno cheeto worldo. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, tell me about the text messages. Well, there was a cell phone that I had found in my couch after he had stayed over a few, few days, and I looked through it, of course, and there was a few flirtatious text messages to a girl named Amanda. And it was like, hey, boo, I'm thinking of you. It was little flirtatious things. And, you know, I confronted him about it, and he just says, oh, it's a co-worker at work that I work with. It's nothing it big. Anything. You shouldn't worry about it. It doesn't say anything about it. And, and then what about his MySpace page? So he changed, oh he, changed the, uh, he changed the status? What is the status he changed, now? Well, what happened was I had magically found out his password. <laughs> and, um, As women do. 
And I log on to the MySpace account and look a couple of sent messages to a few females, which they seem harmless. But there was one specific message that I find that he sent to a woman, and it goes, yeah, my new girlfriend, she's crazy, psychopath, woman, it's not serious, I'm just playing with her emotions, and woo de woo woo blomp, 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 or whatever. Blomp, 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 <laughs> okay. Like, well, I mean, that's what, it felt, that's what it felt like, a big blomp, blomp, blomp to me. Like, uh, What is a blomp, blomp? Just like, he took like a big old weight and just smashed me. Oh, that's a blunt yeah, blunt. Oh, blunt, I've had blunt. many blunt blumps, girl. Yeah. Girl. It, it was, it okay. was horrible. So we're gonna, we're gonna, you wanna find out from the, the psychic I twins? I wanna know. I need to know. I Is need he to cheating? Know. Is he cheating? What's going on? Who was our girl? Are you messing with her? Um, the, the text messages, what's going on with and that? And what's the blomp blomp? What's the blomp blomp about? Let okay. me know what the blomp blomp Y'all are gonna have is. to help us with the blomp blomp. Okay, David first, come on out here, David. Tyra. Okay, so tell me about your relationship with, with um, Aquina. Uh, me and Aquina have had a really rocky relationship. It's had its ups and its downs. Um, when we first got together, I admit I did some things that was pretty messed up, but... Um, What'd you do? Oh, I cheated on her. Um, but I'm not the only one, you know, I'm not the guilty um, person in this, you know. Aquina, you cheated too? Um, Come on, don't lie. <laughs> yes, I have before. Um, because I kind of, in a bigger relationship, I kind of thought that it was just like nothing really serious. So it was like, okay. So earlier on you were cheating? Early, earlier on I have a few times. Okay, so we're going to have David ask the psychics if she's still doing something too. <laughs> but we're going to get to that in a bit. So you're saying that you're not cheating right now? No, I'm not. Okay. Is David cheating? We will find out when we come back. We'll be right back. <laughs> 